Okay. <laughs> We're starting with an Ultra Bullock aim, because why not? Let's get some Pentatonic. I like, uh... I like Pentatonic for Ultra Bullets. It's very calming. Okay, Vienna Gambit time. Ooh. No mercy. Wait. Wait, I'm so slow. Oh, my queen. Uh oh. Well, this is kind of close. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that move. I thought I was force mating uh, when I played Rook D8. I thought this was the only legal move. Thankfully, it's never too late to castle. Hey, it's more people. Oh, the notification worked for some people. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Just making sure. Welcome back to a lot of people. Hi, Eric. Hi. Aiden, uh, what is his name? I Danilek. Oh, my opponent wants time odds. Okay, rematch? I would give time odds, actually. I'll give one more game. Uh, but you have to challenge me again. <laughs> yeah, welcome to so many people. Hope things are going good. Uh, okay, rematch. Hey Eric, how do you keep a chess master in suspense? How? Wait, is there a punchline or is that just a question? <laughs> Thank you, Jarb Jarbs. Or Jarbs for Barzos and Monolies. Hello to Atardov, old Walter. Greetings from Mars. Oh dear. Chess.com is running dog of Yankee capitalism. Yeah, but they still provide value to the community. Love your videos, bro. Oh, I love you too, Mapers Silop. Okay, so this game, um, I'm giving time odds. 15 seconds to one minute. Stafford Gambit time. Never mind. Symmetrical chess time. So I only have 11 seconds left. But the, the key is to stay calm. And eventually checkmate. Okay, tactical rampage time. Hey, okay. Just enough time there. <laughs> Am I colored today? Good game to my opponent. Um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll give other people a game, but thanks for the games. Ariaman C. A year of dubious gambits and tactical rampages. A. Thank you, Snyder's Shumley. Yeah, for those wondering about the sound, uh, this is a built-in setting on WeChess. If you click your username, go to sound, and then pentatonic, it's music that's generated by the, the games that you play. Is uh, the color filter too distracting? I tried to adjust the white balance, but I was having difficult difficulty. Um, I'm using my... Uh, like my professional Sony camera rather than my my usual webcam. So I usually use like a Logitech C920. I mean there's like subtle changes I can do. Color correction, hue shift. Do oh, my face. 
I could do like very subtle, like maybe that's better, reduce the saturation. Is that better? So I, I have a color correction filter. This is before, before the filter, this is after. So maybe I can increase the gamma too. I could spend probably several minutes playing with this. Now I look too yellow, kind of. Maybe that's better. Before, after. <laughs> I hope that's better. Oh, the green Eric bits. Yeah. I have, uh, so I'm using a green screen behind me, but I have, oh no. What is this? Why, why am I slightly invisible? I have another green screen here that like can make me completely invisible. Oh, maybe it's a light reflecting off the green screen, which is, it's like keying out my hoodie. Okay, hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> anyway, um, for those just joining, I'm gonna play some subs and viewers and Try and be instructive. Try and have some fun games. Play a random sub. Playing the crash. I'm gonna turn off the pentatonic for now. And I'm open for opening recommendations actually. If people have a favorite opening against E4 they wanna see. Um I know I've been playing a lot of Stafford's. Senna says Sicilian. Sicilian was the first one that I saw. Um, oh, Bishop C4 is Sicilian. Yeah, so Bishop C4 is not so common on move two because of E6. And the drawback is now the bishop is more of a problem piece for white. Because there's going to be D5 or A6, B5 and life is good. Oh, opponent wants to mate me. <laughs> okay. I mean, the bishop's already prevented from attacking f7. Wait. Oh! It's three check. <laughs> it's three check. Oh, I, I usually... Actually, I don't usually, like, take note of the variant. Okay, we're playing three check. Which means, oh, I'm so thankful I, I realize before it's too late. So the way this works, we see the kings on the, the, top, uh, the top here. If my opponent gets one more check, they win the game. So I can't allow this or this. So probably king g8. On the, on the bright side, I'm, <laughs> I'm up a queen and a bishop for a couple of pawns. Yeah, for those confused, this is a like one of the variants you can play on the chess. It's fun. It's more fun if you know that you're playing it from the very beginning. Kind of play this and set up this and this. Yeah, I started this game trying to be instructive, like how to play positionally in the Sicilian, but. <laughs> Okay, the opening strategy now has some logic from white. Um, actually, I, I think objectively I'm doing quite well here. Because the extra queen and bishop should be enough to eventually win. And there's a few ways to win in this game. Okay, on Passant. I still want to get my first check. I mean, the main way is to get three checks, but you can also just checkmate traditionally. So I could potentially just go for a mating attack, and I just have to make sure I don't get checked. So yeah, hopefully I don't fall for any chibos. Bishop e3 is a, a decent move. Because if I take, take, and take, I'm scared of the knight entering, but... Maybe it's okay. Oh, 
Let's do it. I have to be really, really careful, though. Okay, so I could play d2 or pawn takes pawn. Um, it's a little bit confusing. I might as well take the pawn, preventing any rook d1. Now this enables my queen to come to d3. And yeah, I want to take on e3 with check. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, that hits c2. I think I'll play this move, actually. I have to be really, really careful. Wait, I don't know what to play here. Knight c6. There's queen b6. This is 3 plus 2, 3 check. Because I'm scared of this and then eventually this. It's really tricky. Okay, I think I'll play this move. I was also realizing if I played this, it would have allowed knight d5, which could have been really bad for me. Um, yeah, now... I'll put my thing in the center, getting ready for bishop d7. For those just joining that want a game, uh, there's a challenge command. Uh, you can click at the link in the chat, send a challenge. I usually give more priority to subs, but anyone is welcome to challenge me. Why is the opponent up two kings? Yeah, my opponent has checked me twice. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, there's going to always be, I guess, new people trickling in who don't realize uh, what's happening here. But uh, if we... If I open the new tab... Oh, yeah, this has a full rules of three check. Love you, Eric. I love you too. Oh, I also have to move quicker. Okay, let's, let's be careful here. So I have one check, but it doesn't make sense to just sack a knight for the check. I have to be a little bit more clever. Good thing this is casual. <laughs> Rook f2, yeah, let's play h5, idea to get my rook into the game. Yeah, this is where the time scramble sets in. Ooh, okay, let's play this move. Yeah, I think things are relatively stable. F6 is well defended. Uh, maybe start with this move. Oh, it's not so simple, though. Check. I think I have this move. Check. Okay, so I, I got one king. I need two more checks. Check. Uh, now I need one more check. Queen b2 is coming. <laughs> Hey, I feel so victorious. Yeah, I didn't want to take the free knight because then the opponent would get their third check. Oh, thank you, King Asuka. Welcome back. Okay, so we started, started with a three check game. I wonder if white was somehow better. Like, I was feeling really uncomfortable in this situation. The cool thing with Lee Chess is Stockfish will work in like all the variants. So we can request computer analysis. And oh, it's not letting me scroll down, but maybe I can zoom in. 
Okay, here's a the engine analysis. So white was winning when I played queen b6. Uh, white could have... Wait, what? Stockfish is terribly confused. <laughs> it went from like almost minus seven to now equal. To now plus 0.8. So even Stockfish didn't know what's going on. Oh, Vencho says, Eric, you should upload more of your streams to YouTube. I've watched so much of your content thrice. Wait, thrice means three times, right? It's like twice, but three. I will be uh, uploading more in the very near, near future to my VODs channel, or my extra channel. It's called Eric Rosen Extra. Hey, it's Jude. Hey, Jude. Rating with 36. Welcome to the Raiders. If you're just joining, I just played a three check game. And I didn't realize it was three check until my opponent had already checked me twice. <laughs> but somehow I still won. Helps having an extra queen. Anyway, for those joining, um, I'm doing sub and viewer challenges. Uh, I might have some more variants, but we'll play another another game. This time it's normal chess, thankfully. Oh, I did check him thrice, that's true. <laughs> Opponent only checked me twice. I'm also very much open to opening recommendations. There is a suggestion earlier for Traxler, which maybe I'll try and get. Thank you for your videos. Oh, thank I you. have learned so much and it really gave me inspiration to get better. Still not good, but I'm improving. Well, that's nice. Nice to hear. Thank you, Derek Spiller. Um, yeah, Traxler sometimes requires White's cooperation. So here we have a Spanish. I'm going to play an opening that I, I used to play like in serious tournaments. This is a Schliemann. Hi Eric. Love the content. Oh hi, Your recent boots. YouTube video on the double egg open inspired me to be creative myself, and I oh, came dear. up with some things I think you would find interesting. Is there a way I can contact you in a slightly longer format? Oh yeah, uh we have an email command. We'll link to my main uh contact email. Okay, pawn d3. It's been a while since I've played this opening. Pawn d3 is one of the main lines. And the, the idea for black is after, okay, white usually takes back, is to develop normally, uh, and then castle, and then have the open f file. And there's potential for a very quick kingside attack with easy access to, uh, for the queen to get to g6. Um, Bishop g5 looks normal, but yeah, I'm just continuing. Yeah, email is generally the best way to contact me these days. Um, I will say I I very easily get buried in uh, like social media DMs, so. Um, it's hard to respond to everyone, but um, email usually has a, the best chance of getting a response. Okay, I think I have to take with this pawn. I think this is some theory. A 95, queen e7. Looks like black wins, wins back a pawn. Oh, there's actually another funny line. After knight takes e5, I, I probably don't play queen e7. I go for a funnier move. Oh, he, hey, TJ wants some serious London games. Always down for serious London games. Yeah, I was going to say that after knight takes e5, there's bishop f2, king f2, and then fun things happen. So castling is very respectable. 
but it does give me time to play d6. And yeah, I'm getting a, a really pleasant opening scenario from this. Because I'm ready to castle. Uh, and even though white is maybe slightly ahead in development, I don't think white can hurt me too much. I think you know protein. New prime sub. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. What is his name? A nana so real lover my body. Had a terrible day, but now you're here, so you're fine. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and make terrible days slightly less terrible with this stream. Making this bishop slightly less terrible. This bishop is now a great piece. And the coordination is actually really nice for black. Because once the queen comes in, uh, the two bishops, the knight, the rook, they can work together really, really nicely. Oh, Ilya, I see your comment. Oh, I'll DM you separately. <laughs> oh. Okay, 92. 92 is tempting me to take. But it's a question if I want to give in to temptation. Because takes, takes. It does double the pawns, but white plays my g3, etc., etc. I think I'm better off just playing queen e8 here, leaving tension. That was kind of a judgment call, but uh, yeah, I think there's cases where I might want to keep the bishop a bit longer. Also, with this move, I'm threatening to take the pawn. The knight's no longer pinned. And if knight g3, then white walks back into the pin and queen g6 can come. Oh, there was a prediction of which way I would castle. <laughs> Probably referring to this game, but not sure if, this, if that referred to this game or the previous game. Hello to Banff Flake. Redeeming hello. I think you know 159. Good morning from Singapore. Hey, Any chance good morning. you try the Lucchini Gambit again? The, the thought actually crossed my mind uh, earlier this game, because I'm playing the Schliemann, which is like Lucchini. Hey, it's Lafong. What's up, Lafong? Shout out to Lafong. Appreciate the raid. I know Lafong. I saw Lafong's stream title. He was doing some puzzle stream. I'm curious if he got, did he solve 90 puzzles in 45 minutes? Oh, Immortal Evergreen, redeeming emote only. Okay, now only mods and VIPs can chat, <laughs> which includes LaFong. Yeah, some, oh, wait, it's my move. Anyway, for everyone just joining, this started as a Shaman Gambit, and now it's turning into a Kingside Attack. I think we'll play h6. Provoke the trade, and then have some f-file action, get the other rook involved. Yeah, the other day there is, a, there is someone who gave me a challenge to do exactly what LaFong was doing. Solve 90 puzzles in 45 minutes. But the other day, I just didn't have the energy. So maybe I would consider doing it this stream. But I have some business to take care of first. There's a funny line, knight g3, queen g3. All these pawns are pinned. Yeah, 
Yeah, my original plan for this stream was just to play games and chill. But I should be solving some puzzles because I have a the serious tournament in Gibraltar starting in about a week. Okay. Let's get some emotes that describe this position. Also, thanks, Lafong. Appreciate the good luck wishes. I still have to put our training games on YouTube. Actually, all of our training games that we ever played. Need to put more Lafong content on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm not quite mating, but I am, uh, I'm enjoying the look and feel of the position. Put the 198 move game. Wait. It wasn't that long. Was it? No. It was It was over 100 moves though, I think. Okay. Good game, Ugly Kiwi. Yeah, opponent kind of didn't Move cause me problems. Silenced. Oh, yeah, that's another way to to s talk <laughs> when there's emote only chat. Is to cheer some bits. Thank you, Adfast. Yeah, I guess you have to pay for your freedom of speech. Oh wow, thundering arrow redeeming run and add. I feel so bad. Emote only mode. Now it's time to run an ad. Okay, we'll do a one minute ad. Here's my dashboard. If you sit through the ad, you, you support the channel. I'll get some amount of ad revenue. We go back to the game. Um, yeah, hopefully a game like this might inspire some people to, uh, to look into the shaman. Because white, uh, yeah, white played some natural moves, and then all of a sudden, the attack came very quickly. Um, I will say the better move to play, especially in a position like this, is either queen e2 or queen d3. And it's kind of a unique idea to the Schliemann, where the point is white is preventing black from castling. It's playable here. Is it already... Oh, usually white shouldn't play bishop g5. Yeah, it's better to play knight c3. Bishop c5. And then... At some point, queen e2. Idea that if king's like castling, queen, uh, queen c4 is strong. Just winning a bishop. So the idea could be used in this position as well. It's like one of the things to know is white. Anyway, um, <laughs> how long should I leave emote only mode on for? Hey, it's Mr. Swift Tickle. I feel like I'm saying the words Mr. Swift Tickle a lot, a lot lately. A lot of reasons to say that name. End this tyranny now. Wait, tyranny or tyranny? Probably tyranny. Okay, how do I end it though? There we go. Hey, it's Fly Salus. Welcome back. I'm subbing for 19 months. Oh, Blue Robo Dragon asking, how long does it take merch to arrive in Arizona? Yeah, it always depends on it depends on a few factors. I will say once you order merch, you should receive like a tracking code. I think in general it's like three to f I think three to seven business days. But if you're ordering to Arizona, it should be relatively quick. I think it's shipped from California, at least somewhere in the US. I don't directly like 
handle the inventory of merch. Uh, it's handled by a, a third party. So uh, there's a whole support, like a support email that if you have questions about merch, um, I'll give a very quick tutorial. Shop.imrosen.com. Ah, here we go. Also, we have Goose Merch. Ah, why is my thing? Because <laughs> my screen is, is white. It's reflecting on the hoodie and it's turning me slightly invisible. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, here's a, the Goose Merch. It's, uh, it's a gray hoodie. It's super comfy. And if you have any issues with the email or the, um, the order or whatever, there's an email on the footer, which I, I can't really show, but it's, it's on the bottom of the page, which says, says shop support. Oh, Ross the boss is wearing my new, or his new, oh no, my queen shirt. Let's go. Yeah, the goose merch, it's, uh, if you look closely, it's Stafford Gambit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll wear this in Gibraltar, try and scare away my opponents. Have to figure it out, figure out if there's a dress code. Okay, uh, thank you, you jelly. Oh, and thank you, Vladimir Podineska, gifting five. Appreciate that. Okay, let's move on. Getting a lot of challenges. Another random sub. I've been black every game this stream, right? Oh, except the first game, which was Ultra Bullet. Again, I'm open for opening recommendations. Carol Khan. Carol Khan was suggested by It's Pants O'Clock. I feel like Levy. Oh, I feel like Levy against, uh, what's his name? Ivan Skitko? Because Levy encountered this in the tournament the other day and it got a losing position really quickly. Um, I watched his recap video. He was saying, like, this is a move, this is a move, this is a move. E5 is a move. I kind of want to try E5. Hey Eric, I was able to catch your stream so much more often since I switched to Lee Chess from. <laughs> from Star Star Star. Oh, well, thank you, Jason. And thank you, Justin CMX. Yeah, Lee Chess is. Uh, I guess if you're on Lee Chess a lot, they do promote the stream on the front page, which is very kind of them. Okay, so I'll admit I know nothing about this position. The, the only thing I know is Levy mentioned it in a recent recap video. Um, <laughs> but now I'm on my own. I mean, it looks visually like decent for black because white's committed to F3, which probably shouldn't be a good inclusion. If I take queen takes, not sure how much I'm getting there. There's also takes, takes bishop here. I'm realizing maybe I should start with bishop e4. Yeah, there's a lot of like confusing lines. I'm gonna rely more here on just intuition, leaving the central tension. One of the threats is to take, and if takes, I take, take, and then queen h4 and do some damage. Hopefully have some amazing lines. Thank you, amazing lines, subbing for six months. Oh, connected past pawns asking, what's happening in Gibraltar? Uh, we do have a, a Gibraltar command, which we'll link to the tournament website. 
but it's uh it's a really strong tournament i'll be one of the lowest seeds or the lowest seed actually um it starts first round is january 24th i believe 23rd is opening ceremony okay so the tension remains i mean this pawn is still undefended i don't want to take Maybe I'll take here now after it takes back bishop g4. That looks interesting. Wait, let's not play bishop g4 immediately. <laughs> That's a really bad sign if I'm going to play a move out of order in my calculation. Yeah, but here bishop g4 looks nice. So both knights are pinned. One absolute pin and one relative pin. Oh, Dawson says, Eric, you look sun-kissed on stream today. Uh, I have not been tanning. It's been really cold and gloomy in St. Louis. It snowed a few days ago. It's just a, a different webcam than usual. Different color settings. Because the shirt looks, or the hoodie looks a little bit purple. But it's gray, so... I still have to figure out the white balance. Also, I'm, it might have to do with the lighting too. I'm using like two different, actually three different lights. Actually four different lights if you include like the laptop. So the board emits some light on my face. Okay, so pawn digs pawn. I mean, there's a funny line takes so the king has to take then i take here and then white's just left with two sets of double isolated pawns i did concede the bishop pair but i can't complain about this because all these pawns are potentially weak do i actually look yellow well, now I feel slightly self-conscious. I think knight e7. The knight wants to be here. Pressure the things. Yeah, I'm realizing if I play bishop e6, there's knight d4. So... Other thing to acknowledge, I am down a pawn. Like, even though white's pawn structure is so hideous, I still have to try and win back material at some point. Yeah, I think I'll take. Because otherwise the knight just comes to d4. I mean, there is this move, but then my bishop and knight fight for the same square. Yeah, I'll take. I have knights versus bishops. Okay. So I won the pawn back. I was slightly scared of e6 there. Maybe it wasn't a huge deal, but... Okay, feeling good here. Oh yeah, what happened to the prediction? Sometimes this will happen. Some, like a mod will run a prediction and then forget to end it. Hey, it's Chelsea. What's up, Chelsea? Shout out to Chelsea. Good to see you. Okay, we're trading. Yeah, I just made you a VIP. <laughs> I think I wanted to make you a VIP a while ago, but I didn't have enough slots. Okay, so there's knight d3, which looks cool, but I don't know if it does anything. And there's also this move. There's this move. 
There's knight c4, king b3, knight e3. I think I'll start with this. Try and optimize everything before I do anything too fancy. Right. Skin color looks normal, but the hoodie is purple. Yeah, that's... I don't know why that's the case. Because if the white balance is correct on my skin, it should be correct on the hoodie. Thank you, Sof, M, S, M, S, M. The new sub at tier one. Okay, I'm smelling some fork potential, like here and then here, hitting this, this, and this. I mean, white wants to do things with F file, so I might play F6. I just want to win a pawn. What does a fork smell like? Uh, it de it depends what you're eating it with. Or eating. What am I trying to say? It depends what you're using it to eat. Wait. Yeah, it depends on the food that you're using it for. Like if you're using it for spaghetti, it will probably smell like spaghetti. If you're using it for like kings and rooks, it will probably smell like the kings and rooks. Oh, eating with it. <laughs> yeah, it's important to not eat the fork, but use the fork to eat other things. Okay. I want to play b5, but then a4... There's c5. There's also kind of an interesting trap <clears throat> trap in this position. Uh, if the opponent challenges a d-file with either rook, then I take, simultaneously removing the guard and defending the rook another time. Okay, now I'm getting ready to create some mating net. I think I'm threatening maiden 3, because this, this, knight c4, king a2, and then rook b2 or rook c2 would be mate. Yeah, rook c1 defends. But I'll still go for this. Okay, at the very least, I'm winning a pawn. Probably multiple pawns. King has to move here. Oh, there's almost a funny line. I was envisioning a scenario where I got my knight to b3, but then my rook would hang. Okay, so I'll take a pawn. Okay, there was a question earlier that I wanted to address. But who was it from? It was from David Lankor, saying we're going to St. Louis in March and we'll stop by World Chess Hall of Fame. Is there anything specific that we should make sure to check out there? Yeah, World Chess Hall of Fame, it's really nice. It's like a three-story chess museum. And they have rotating exhibits. So I actually haven't been inside there in a while. But um, anytime you visit, there's, uh, there's cool things to see. Uh, I do recommend definitely stop by St. Louis Chess Club. Usually, if it's your first time there, they'll give you a tour. 
and your first visit is free. And then also the Kingside Diner next to the Hall of Fame. It's a chess themed restaurant. And they have some good breakfast food and brunch. And now dinner too. Okay, threatening maiden one. It was 92 not a fork. Yeah, I could have taken C3 and moved sooner. I guess I was being overly cautious. Um, yeah, I guess there was no reason not to take on C3. And yeah, knight d2, it was a move, but as we saw in the game, this was a quicker way to end things. Hey, Christine HB. Thank you, Christine HB, gifting to Brownie. I do have um, one more thing to, to mention, because uh, I do occasionally get asked about, like, recommendations for visiting St. Louis. I have a very brief guide um, that's linked from the STL command. It will link you to a Google Doc. I see a lot of people already here. <laughs> uh, so this is the World Hall of Fame. They have the world's largest chess piece. Really nice gift shop. Uh, Forest Park is a short walk away. There's a zoo. You can see a bear. Uh, and then Kingside Diner, and then the Arch. Anyway, that's my my quick travel guide. Uh, probably no blindfold simul today because I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> uh, I don't know where my blindfold is. I want to play a few games where I can appreciate the, the visual aesthetic and not be in complete darkness. Oh, I see the comment from Shadow B. Yeah, Shadow B and Shadow B's son were featured in my most recent YouTube video. Let's go. <laughs> Shadow B says. I thought you should know that after seeing your latest YouTube video and reading the comments. I can't afford to travel, but I'll check it out on Google Earth. Thanks, homie. Oh, nice. <laughs> after reading the comments, I've decided to give into public pressure and take my son to Dairy Queen tomorrow. Oh, yes, you're Dairy Queen. Yeah, there are some comments saying that I've I foiled a, a Dairy Queen sponsorship. But then there were other comments saying I'm promoting healthy eating. Some interesting, there's always interesting YouTube comments. You can do a regular simul. I'm already multitasking a lot, though, between reading chat and playing chess, trying to explain things, trying to answer questions. I would be curious, though. I'm going to do a quick poll. What would you prefer to watch? Simul, single games. I just want some general feedback here. Hey, it's Lexi. What's up, Lexi? Shout out to Lexi, Ne. Appreciate the gifted subs. Also, thank you, Away168. I have held off on playing with Stafford <laughs> a decent amount this stream. Hey, I'm playing Shwarma. Haha. <laughs> Do I put on the blindfold just for shawarma? I, I would I would blindfold myself if shawarma wants it. Want me to find my blindfold? <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. 
<laughs> Thank you, Kiron Squared. Where's my blindfold? Oh, I was using I was using it as a sleep mask earlier. Whoa, it's Chassadi with a hundred dollars. Enjoying your content so since much. the YouTube algo randomly sent me one of your books uh, a year ago. Oh wow! It got me into chess, and I've been playing ever since. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you, Chessani. And thank you to the YouTube algo. That's really kind. Thanks so much. Good timing, too. I was just about to like, leave on a quest to look for my blindfold. I could use my hoodie, but um, I don't want to risk the, the chance of accidentally peeking. Okay, I'll be right back. Chat, behave yourself. Sharma can hopefully keep people entertained. <laughs> Okay. I found my blindfold. Um, sound speech. Speech synthesis ready. Okay. Game start. I actually haven't done blindfold from this laptop yet. Hopefully, there's no issues. Wait, shush, no one tell him. Wait, what? There's something I should, I'm supposed to know here? Okay, let me put this on. And let's show no mercy. Okay, I'm hiding chat too. Why do people say shh? Okay. Uh, good luck. Mindful's on. Hopefully the thing's working. E4. E4. Beautiful. D5. White 4 minutes 59 seconds. Black 5 minutes Blindfold seconds. Stafford Gambit. Requested by Ross the Boss Kappa. <laughs> Wait, but opponent played D5. D5. Um, I, I'll take it. He takes D5. Yeah, you can't play Stafford against the Scandi. Does Eric know it's a three check game again? Wait, no. Is it really? This should be five check. Five check. <laughs> against me next game, Kappa. Wait. Is it actually three check? If it's three check, I should be winning, but if it's not three check, I didn't check. D C six? D takes C six. Knight takes C six. Bishop takes C six check. Okay. If it is three check, I I have two checks so far. And I can castle. Wait, why can't I castle? Can I not castle? Did I not develop my knight? Oh, I didn't develop my knight. <laughs> uh, knight of three. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's three check. I think people are trolling me. I would have realized. H three. Bishop H five. Uh, let's play D four. Knight C three. Let's play D four. E6. Knight C3. Knight 
So I'm, I'm living in two universes right now. One universe, it's just normal chess. But another universe, it's three check. So let's castle. I'm pretty sure it's just normal chess. I don't know who to trust either. It is not three check, and now you are just down a bishop quack. No, I'm not. Well, I guess technically black does have the bishop pair, but I have the knight pair. But maybe not for long. Short castle. H6. H6, okay. Uh let's play a bishop h4. Bishop h4. Like four minutes, 50 seconds. Okay, finding a time. Black five minutes, it is not three check. Seconds. Casual five plus eight signed. Lexi. Oh, thanks, Lexi. I think I would trust Lexi. Lexi is pretty trustworthy when it comes to the truth. <laughs> Unless that's Shwarma pretending to be Lexi. G5. G5. Okay, uh, bishop g3. Bishop g3. Yeah, I wanted to play knight e4, but there goes my knight e4 plans. It's an interesting position, though. No blocks expanded on the king side. <sighs> my knight on f3 is still pinned. I probably want to play a uh, queen d3 and then bring the rooks to the center eventually knight e5 white 4 minutes 49 seconds black 4 minutes 24 seconds yeah the 8 second increment is uh allows us to not get too low on time Yeah, I do remember seeing it was five plus eight, so it gives me some uh, some confidence, I guess. Lexi is an imposter. Don't fall for it. <laughs> what if all of these messages is just uh, like one person person talking to themselves? Matagi used to do this. Bishop G3. Okay, so still locks. Ooh, G4. Yeah, G4 is interesting because I kind of have to take. H takes and then G4. probably Queen D3 next. Knight takes G4. Ooh, Knight G4. Aggressive. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting situation where we're both going to try and attack on the king side. I'm thinking of the move knight e5 here, actually. Knight e5. So hitting the knight. Hello and good night. Oh, good night. Are you referring to my knight on e5? Hello to the good night. Yeah, so black wants to like discover and attack me, but the knight is kind of pinned to the bishop. And my knight is ready to fork things on c6. Knight c6 is a threat. Um, black could play knight f6, but then I play queen d2 hitting h6, and c6 would still be hanging. Imagine White four minutes, Queen G5. 
Black 2 minutes 27 seconds. Okay, I'll play knight e4. Knight e4. Hitting the queen. So it's a big cluster of pieces now on the king side. I have I have two good knights. E4 and E5. Hitting G4 and G5. Mainly the queen on G5. There's a funny line. Oh. Oh, that's also a funny line. So now both queens are hanging. If I take on G5. Wow. I guess I'll take on G5. Knight takes G5. Yeah, we're just trading a lot. Rook A D1. Rook A takes D1. So now we have both knights hanging. If H G6, I probably take on E5 with the HG5, I'll take on E5 with the bishop. Yeah, the position looks a little bit uh, drawish, actually. Time? White, four minutes, 14 seconds. Okay. Black, one minute, 46 seconds. H takes G5. Bishop takes E5. Okay, so <laughs> where are all the pawns? I have pawns on a2, b2, c2, d4, f2, g2, I think. Black has pawns on a6, or no, a7, c6, e6, f6, g5. There's a bishop on b4. Okay, so let's move the bishop back to g3. Bishop g3. So I think I just want to play c6 and like f3 and be solid. King g7. C3. C3, yeah. King g7. Mysterious move. Bishop e7. Play f3. F3. Rook h8. King f2. Yeah, very positional endgame now. Ideally, I'd like to go after the e-pawn. It's also nice, my bishop on g3 uh, covers b8. So black can't immediately Rook attack along the, the b-file. Rook a d8. Rook a d8. I'll play rook f e1. Rook f e1. Hitting the e6 pawn. King f7 expected. King f7. Yeah, now the question is what to do. Rook d2. Oh, things are maybe about to get spicy. b4 could be an option. I think I'll play rook d2. Or maybe rook e2. Rook e2. I just want to double up. But still keeping black guessing which file, because double on the d file or e file. Bishop d6. Okay, so we could end up trading. Shawarma's playing a good game. Our boy Exotypo is now second in the world. I'm so Whoa. proud of him. In Scrabble? Second in the world? Wait, that's awesome. Rook D E1. I wish I could see it with my own eyes. <laughs> Bishop takes G3 check. King G3. King takes G3. White three minutes fifty five seconds. Okay, still doing fine. One minute twenty seconds. Rook D in Babel. Oh, in Babel. Oh, not in Scrabble, but still in Babel. That's pretty pretty impressive. Rook D E eight. Rook D E eight. 
Rook D E eight. So there's rooks on H eight G eight. Or uh, H eight and E eight. King on F seven. Yeah, how do I make progress here? King F two. King F two. I'm just kind of waiting to see what Black is up to. Draw. <laughs> a shawarma offering a draw. Uh, I'll think about it. Let me just think about it for a minute. You can hold off on making your move. <laughs> okay, f5 gives me some hope now. Rookie five. five. Because now I have a, an infiltration approach. Idea rook c5. King f6. Play rook c6. Or rook c5. Attacking c6. Rook c8. Rook c8. Rook c8. Wait, where's the rook? Is the rook on e7 or e8? I forget. It doesn't matter that much though. I'll play uh, uh, b4. B4. Do you know Gooseman's secret identity? I hear he's good at chess. Wait, who? Gooseman? I didn't know that's a thing that exists. I didn't know, even if they do exist, I wouldn't know their secret identity. Rook h7. White 3 minutes 18 seconds. Black 0 minutes 45 seconds. Dear Mr. Ozen, you have been cook. Very elusive and slippery to play against. On top of that Twitch notifications talking like forever. So finally today <laughs> I catch you. And I honestly can't think why Good not catch. today is the perfect day to play against each other. Oh, I don't know who that is, though. <laughs> oh, what do I do here? I'm a little bit preoccupied here with trying to remember where everything is. The rook's on h7 and c8. Um, I think I'll play uh, rook a5, actually. Rook a5. And bring the other rook to e5. I should be up a decent amount of time. White two minutes thirty six seconds. Black zero minutes thirty one seconds. Okay. Whose man is Rook an aspiring F7. GM who was at the World Championships this year? Wait, really? Rook F seven. Rook F seven. Rook F seven. Okay, so the king's on F six. Rook on A five. Rook E five. Wait, oh, Rook E E five. Rook E E five. I don't remember seeing a goose man. But maybe I do? I forget. <laughs> G4. G4. Interesting. FG4? F takes G4. F takes G4. King G3. King G3. Okay, so my rooks have a fifth rank battery. And G4 pawn's a little bit weak for black. Rook G7. G7. I'll play rook E4. Rook E4. So king's on F6. Rook D8. Rook D8. Gooseman may discover his own secret identity soon. It's only a matter of time. Shush, shush. I need to focus. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure out the Gooseman situation after after this game. King G6. King G6. Wait. Rook F4 check. 
King G6. Uh, rook G4. Rook takes G4 check. King H6. Rook takes G7. King takes G7. Rook takes A7 check. Check. Okay. Life is going well. King F6. King F4. King F4. Okay, I'm up a lot of pawns now. Rook G8. G4. G4. I just have to ensure I don't type slip Rook or forget where things are. Wait, Rook G5. Rook F7. Rook F7 check. And then King G5 coming. Rook G6. Rook G7. Rook G7 check. There we go. King F6. Rook G5. Rook takes G5. Okay. GG. Is victorious. Oh, oh, there's so much light. Ah. So who's Gooseman? That wasn't three check. Whoever was messing with me was, uh, <laughs> yeah, I almost believed it, but yeah, Shwarma wasn't playing as if it was for three check. 12 months. You're the best, Eric. Thanks for everything you do. Oh, thank you, Dustroy. Oh, it's the Black Goose. Oh, it was a Black Goose saying <laughs> it was three check. <laughs> yeah, I was second guessing myself because I didn't think it was, but it's easy to sometimes not be aware. Okay, so who was talking earlier? Goose Man has been unmasked. He took of his mask. Ah, uh, well, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Hey, it's Jimberwood. What's up, Jimberwood? Jimberwood. Oh, also offering a blindfold game. I, I want to play one game cited, but then maybe I'll come back to, to the challenge. Um, yeah, putting on the blindfold makes me appreciate Thanks the ability the game, to Eric. see. I tried my best, but I still went down in flames that game. I didn't know what to do once we exchanged down. I thought I was going to win the piece with the queen exchange. Oh. Yeah, I think the position was very stable. This plan with g5, g4 was a little bit risky. Knight takes e5 was a good find too. Um, but yeah, I think it's just a trade. And where was the mistake? Someone needs Probably to F5. make this guy a goose man costume. <laughs> yeah, I'll admit that uh, if black doesn't play f5, but just kind of waits. I wasn't sure what my plan was. If black just plays some move, let's say rookie seven. Is white still better? Oh, white's still a lot better. Yeah, maybe yeah, queen side's nice. It was a difficult endgame for black. It's because the, the structure is a bit better for white. Um, apparently here... Oh, bishop takes f3 was missed. And if, if takes, and this pawn hangs. But maybe it's still playable because c6 hangs at some point. Oh, interesting poll. Only 16% of chat has been the title player. Hey, it's a raid. It's Benkyo. Thanks for the raid. Good timing, too. I just took off my blindfold. I was just playing a blindfold game. Now, yeah, now back to seeing. Shout out to Benkyo. I'll have to check you out. Anyway, I'm going to move on. Um, I'll play one sided game, so we'll do another random challenge. This is 10 plus 5 rapid. Does Gooseman want to play a game? <laughs> Wait, are you referring to me as Gooseman or is it someone else? I'm so confused. 
Also, what do I play against Carol Khan? I think I'll play what I used to play. I'll play the opening I learned as a child. Oh, maybe I am Goose Man, because I'm wearing the Goose shirt. Ah. Uh, Oh, nine of six. Okay, so we're playing the Tartic Hour. Let's have some name. I don't really know so much theory here. I know this is like a recent trend for black. Um, yeah, let's develop normally. Oh yeah, I have no idea who like ran the pull from earlier um yeah i'm pretty sure short casting one because it was a uh, the first like slower game i played earlier anyway okay let's uh Try and play some Maybe good moves here. Another month. Time to release the pawns. Mm. Triple snake. My opponent's releasing their pawns. Okay, so if I play a move like this or this, I know casting's coming. So there's actually a cool line: rookie one casting, and then d5. And then takes and then takes on each seven, and it's kind of a big trade. But the king ends up on each seven in the end. I hit this and this in the end. There's queen c7. And then in the very end, I have rook d1 with a skewer. That looks like it's winning material. And if black takes, I take with a knight and hit the bishop. Yeah, I think the, the setup looks solid for black, but I think uh, it's very much subject to attack. Game? Which one was that? Also, my opponent's being, uh, being generous here. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, kind of a opening gone wrong or early middle game gone wrong. Um, and generally, as far as I know, black should play like bishop d6 and castle. Ah, there's a game. There's a game bishop d3. Why is bishop d3 not played? We go to Lee Chess. Bishop d3. Bishop d6. And then queen h5. Yeah, didn't Carlson like walk into this? I swear Carlson had a game where he walked into this. Dr. Nighterstein. Okay, all set. Oh, maybe he didn't. I know there's some clip. He walked into something similar, though. Anyway, uh, the takeaway should be... Don't play bishop to e6. Play bishop d6. Black should castle as quickly as possible here. So if I play bishop d3, castling, and then, then black can continue with normal development. Anyway, okay, there's a lot to juggle here. Let me try and catch up with chat. Um... Oh, do I plan to upload the second Stafford game? Game, Very possibly. I've been trying to process a lot of different types of recent YouTube content. Um, I think tomorrow's video will probably be another Dubai recap. Because I recorded it earlier. I just need to edit it. 
But yeah, I think the Safford game that we played was uh, was YouTube worthy. Also, I'm uh, yeah, I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but I'm looking to post more full vods to my extra channel. So let me make a command actually. YouTube.com. So my extra channel is this one. I need to get the Are URL to upload the blindfold similar matches we have had also very quack, possibly. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Quack, 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 Um, commands add extra. My will be posting full streams this channel. with him as black coming coming soon wait what was that bear with me one moment here okay we have the extra command now which we'll link to this channel Oh, chat said you clicked on Magnuson's is white. Oh, wait, let's look one more time then. Bishop d3. Magnus. Yeah, I want him as black. Like, there is a clip where he, he ripped his shirt because he got mated like this. But it may have been from a different move order. Not entirely sure. Ah, if she has a clip. Ah. Okay. Wait, where is it? Here we go. Ah, oh, me, me, me. Okay, so we got the point there. <laughs> Thank you, Ipshi. Anyway, let's move on. Um, let's do another random sub. Playing, ooh, Moose Tifa. Good luck to my opponent. I'm going to try and show no, no mercy this game. I'm also still taking opening suggestions. King's Gambit being recommended. King's Gambit it is. Yeah, I don't think there's an opening called the Moose. Opponent's actually playing a main line here. Thank you, Edwardian. Okay. So yeah, as far as I know, the queen coming into the game so early is not, not what's most played. I'm pretty sure knight f6 is the most common move. Although, yeah, this will be interesting. If takes, takes, I'll be happy. Still finding some happiness here. Yeah, my opponent is a moose. Whatever opening they play is a moose opening. 
Given all the studying of Stafford you've done, do you know main lines of Petra? Uh, not as much. <laughs> yeah, playing with Stafford doesn't really help me with main line Petrov theory, unfortunately. Okay, solid chess so far. User DVD. Question about King's Indian defense. Oh, King's Indian attack. King's Indian attack isn't too difficult to learn. Because, um, no, it's more of a system based opening. But with any opening, it takes experience and it takes a lot of uh, yeah, gameplay to become knowledgeable about the plans and ideas. Thank you, Chess Savvy. Yeah, I want to win something here. So I'm attacking the knight. It's defended. If I hit the queen... Yeah, let's do that. There's also actually a B4 here and then here there's takes. I'll start with C4, making things spicy. Oh, question, will you make any new course anytime soon? Love London. Yeah, we do have the London command for the, the London course. Um, but no plans for the super near future? For a few reasons. One, I'm, I'm playing a tournament coming up, so putting more focus on that. Knight h4 is interesting. Hitting the queen and hitting the bishop and the queen side down to both things. The other reason, if I made a course, I, I would probably have to cut back on the content, like streaming and YouTube. So it's kind of a trade-off. Um, I mean, recently, even for the past like several years, I've been focused more on just providing free content. But if there's enough demand for like doing a paid course where there's more kind of more organized like opening prep or lessons I could give. I'd be open to making one. I think I would self-publish. But if I were to make one, it would be, I'd probably get continual feedback on the types of things that people would want in a course, whether it's an opening course or something else. Oh yeah, you have to spell London correctly for the London command to work. Okay, let's uh, try and wrap things up here. Knight e2 is kind of a move. Bishop's defended though. Uh, the plan is to go for some cool mate with the knights against the king. Actually, the plan is to checkmate before black flags. Oh, it's kind of close. Had my first ever Rosen trap last night. Hey, that makes me happy. Good to hear, Rasa boss. Okay, might be getting a fancy checkmate. There we go. Yeah, you don't see this mating pattern every day. The two knights against the king in the corner. Two knights checkmate bits. Yeah. 
I didn't need any of these other things for the checkmate. Hey, it's Minlay. What's up, Minlay? Says cool maid bureau. Yeah, very good timing. The game just finished. Shout out to Minlay. We have the min command. Oh, and Mustifa. So my opponent's in the chat. Says, hee hee, thanks for the game. After all those times practicing with John, King's Gambit. Mom says ah. it's my turn to play you, Eric Kappa. Uh, I don't always listen to mom, though. <laughs> Very often you're at mercy of at the the random the random challenge algorithm but who knows i think there is some sort of like karma or or shawarma the the more you cheer the more likely you'll you'll be accepted for a game <laughs> yeah so I, I was impressed, like D5s, it's not the type of move a 1100 player will play, but um, yeah, I think Knight F6, if you want to play like, like these Grandmasters, Knight F6 is the way to go. Do I go back to Blindfold? We, we did do a poll earlier. Whether people prefer watching simuls or just normal games. Um, I want to do another poll. Uh, what do you prefer watching? Blindfold chess? Normal chess? Another quick poll. Just want to get some feedback. Oh, and then, yeah, maybe I could add more options. Can do blindfold simul as an option. Xenomorphy says, Eric, I dig your photography gigs. When's your next shoot? Yeah, so I'm I'm traveling very soon. I'll be going to Gibraltar for a serious tournament, but not as a photographer, as a player. But I'm planning to bring my camera. And I'll probably take photos as a tourist. Um, I want to do some hiking. I want to see some monkeys. So my next photos I take, at least with my professional gear, is probably going to be of the, the monkeys in Gibraltar. Because why not? My camera setup, it's, uh, so the, the camera I'm using right now, it's a Sony a7R Mark III and a 16 to 30, what's the, what's the focal length? Oh yeah, 16 to 35 G Master lens. Um, so it's good for like, it's good for a webcam, but also for landscape and wide angle photography. Take care of your camera. Gibraltar's monkeys are known for stealing tourists. Wait, what? <laughs> I think you mean they're known for stealing tourists' belongings. Unless they, like, they, they're going to kidnap me. And my camera. <laughs> Shorma says we need a poll we can rig with bits. I'll I'll still do another blindfold game eventually. I'm just gonna keep playing random subs. Hey, I'm playing obese Reese. Hey, I'm about to become a parent. Oh, people can't see though. Now people can see. So we have, uh, I have nine wins, trying to make it a perfect, a perfect 10. Also, I haven't played the Stafford Gambit at all today, so 
Stafford Gambit time? Stafford Gambit time, maybe, but maybe not. I still have a ton of tea left, too. Look at all this tea. Yeah, we'll see how much Obese Reeves wants another father, I guess. Okay, yeah, cheers to its pants o'clock. Can you please do a rating climb? Ooh. The world needs it. Teach us baby gambits and work up to Stafford like a boss. Ah, baby gambits. Yeah, this game we're cutting right to the chase. We're playing a, a grown adult gambit. It's a dubious gambit, though. Obese Reese is playing like Magnus. So I had this position against Magnus. Magnus took. E5 is also perfectly acceptable. Yeah, this game isn't a rating climb because it's casual. I do want to do like a speed run slash rating climb. It would have to be on chess.com because uh, they could set me up with like a, a new account with a established low rating. Very good opening play so far from Luis Reese. Up upon. I had a similar position in the recent, uh, I think it was the Agenmater tournament against Grandmaster David Pariavan? Par, par, Paravian? 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 Grandmaster from Russia. And I almost equalized that game, but I got completely outplayed. I'm tempted to play a6, but maybe this move first. A lot of people cheering. I missed five sip, sip teas? Okay, I'll sip a lot more tea. <laughs> I have to make more uh, channel point redemptions, so people have other things to redeem apart from sip tea. Yeah, I think I'll put the bishop here. I could have taken, but the bishop's happy to try and do some damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm well aware that like a raiding climb or a speed run, it would be in demand. It would be a nice like series for YouTube. Um, and it's not something I've done before. But probably after Gibraltar, when I have uh, more time to like organize content. Okay, now maybe a6. Position's gonna get sharp at some point. I mean, I might be like losing more material here, like takes, 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 takes. Oh, wow. Okay, here I have takes. And then if takes, I take here, takes, takes, takes. Check, king goes back. It gets really spicy. Oh, wow. Donjar redeeming run and add. Yeah, I don't run ads during games, but I can run ads between games. Obese Reese, okay, takes this first rather than taking on e4. Oh, what to do? I mean, queen a3 is a logical move. Probably. Yeah, let's provoke king d2 first. And then there's a funny line, knight a5. There's also f5. Go play knight a5 first. There's a knight on c6 against this pawn structure. Uh, it. It's not good at all. So at least on a5, it has some, some broader purpose in life. Thank you, Sir J. Bob, the prime sub. 
Oh yeah, the tea tonight, it's, um, what is it? It's chai. It's some like nice chai tea. It was part of this like tea pack. I don't know who sent it to me, but like really nice quality loose leaf teas. Okay, C5 is enticing. Yeah, the, the trick was uh, if bishop takes e4, there's knight c4 with a fork. But it's hard to actually provoke that. Taking allows this move over then this move. Yeah, there's some reason to take here. And it's interesting because... Um, yeah, white can't really exploit the queen. Even though it looks like this traps the queen, there's knight b3 with a, a pin, fork, pork. And one of my threats is to play knight c4 with this fork, but the bishop is also pinned to the pawn. So there's a lot of pork potential. Oh, Salsa's back. Thank you, Salsa. Okay, rook b1. Okay, rook b1 when runs into a lot of problems. Clap, people clap, people hey, people, people clap. Someday. Let's get some people claps. Thank you, Hannah Says. Just in time for the destruction of White's position. Shout out to Hannah. Okay, I'll show no mercy. We'll trade the queens and I'll promote some pawns. Ooh, pawn tension. Let's play this move. Provoking on passant. Oh! Okay, H takes G6 checkmate. Good game, Ross. Or no, not Ross the boss. Obese Reese. <laughs> it had some Ross the boss vibes to it. Because I kept all my, or almost all my pawns till the end. Challenge. But there is no, unfortunately, no connect eight potential. I was missing an e pawn. Oh, M Kirby. Yeah, the challenge command will link to to the link to challenge me. My name is in your mouth always. In your mouth always would be a cool username. <laughs> or maybe a weird username. Okay, um, <laughs> yeah, a weird username. Oh, I have a new son. Yeah. If we make this smaller, GG, obese Reese. Okay, moving on. Do I continue the randomness? I'll continue the randomness. Playing Memphis Will. Yeah, the, the random algorithm isn't, uh, isn't pairing me against Rasa Boss. Or Jimberwood. I forgot about Jimberwood too. Jimberwood's been patiently waiting for a game. Okay, all I want is one real Stafford. Oh, I forgot to run an ad. 
next game or between this game and the next game. Okay, we're, we're repeating the same opening from the previous game. Hey, okay. So we transposed into a real Stafford with knight c3. Again, if you want to make your name purple, uh, you can only do it if you're a sub. You can use the leech house command. Do what Alex OC123 did. Oh, except... Wait, did that work? Oh, no, that didn't work because you have to be a sub. <laughs> but the bionic banana got it. I think there's some weirdness with the delay. F3, interesting move. Okay, I'll play this move. F3 is actually a very respectable move. A3 is less respectable. Now we're going to have some fun. Yeah, usually if you play F3 against Stafford, then it requires some precise play. Because now... Now it's too much fun. Yeah, when I played knight h5, the threat was queen h4. So white would have had to, oh, white would have had to be a bit more careful. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to calculate mate here. It's close. Is it force mate? I mean, I could take and then knight g3 is forced. I'm looking for force mate though. I think I'll take this way. Force a king to d3. Because why not? And then just develop. I'm I'm ready to put the hammer down. Ah, there's a funny line. Good morning from Moscow. Finally, Europe friendly stream smile. A. Many reasons to smile here. So Queen's eye casting with check, and then this is mate. Thanks for the game, Memphis. Will. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is one of the reasons to love Stafford. Okay, time for an ad. Oh, I wanted to show the funny line though. Bear with me one moment. Okay, so Donjar like earlier requested run an ad, so here's the ad. It is one way of supporting the channel or monetizing the channel. Did that work? I think that worked. So the funny line, um, I'll go back and show what like should have been better, but I was, uh, I was looking at a funny line. After bishop e6, pawn c3. I could play bishop e3. Now this is not a good move, but it would have been funny. Because if white takes, then c2 is covered. And all these squares are covered. And then queen's eye casting is checkmate. And it would be pretty beautiful. Anyway, um, that's why, yeah, going back to this position, white should either play g3 or queen e2. Although queen e2, I think, still runs into this. Because g3 I can take if there's no queen f2. 
So probably G3. Yeah, G3 or 92, but G3 is like the, the main move to play. Oh, did the ad not work? Usually if you're a sub, then you'll never get an ad on this channel. If you're not a sub, yeah, sometimes it doesn't always go through, I guess. <laughs> Worked for some people. Uh, there was a question from earlier. I think during the game, someone was asking about F3 immediately in Stafford, which I can quickly address. Because F3, it's one of the engine's top recommendations. Engine will say plus two here. Uh, the move I recommend, I do have to credit Jonathan Trance for uh, the, the line here for black, is bishop to e6. Actually, Stockfish is top recommendation too. And it's a tricky move because the two main moves for white, like the two most played moves for white are blunders. When black plays bishop e6, the threat is knight takes e4. The reason why white, white allows knight takes e4 here is because after takes, check here, here, black is not winning the rook because queen e2 and there's a pin. So the reason for bishop e6 is to create a scenario where we do win the rook because there's no pin along the e-file. Uh, so if we see how this plays out after bishop e6, let's say d4, then takes, takes, check, here, here, uh, we can legally take the rook. So hopefully that makes sense. And uh, yeah, if you get this position after bishop e6, there's a decent chance of light will blunder with one of these moves. SC3, same thing. Uh, best move is probably knight c3, but then we play bishop c5, and this almost transposes to the game I just had. There's still ideas knight h5, queen h4, some f5 later, castling queenside. And it's hard for white to castle kingside because we usually control g1. Oh, would you be scared of getting your queen trapped? Uh, no. Because the queen pins the bishop. Um, so there's no effective way for white to even attack the queen. And we're ready to castle and play bishop h3 and just force trades. Okay, the time has come. Do I play Rasta Boss or Jimberwood? Two avid supporters. Or do I play Shwarma again? I don't even see the challenges though. I think so many people are challenging me. Oh, there's Rasta Boss. Okay. We can play. We've had so many Staffords. Let's play a play a London, how about? <laughs> Oh, Chelsea says blindfold simul. I do have my blindfold. I'm somewhat prepared. Um, I've done how many blindfold simuls? I've done three blindfold simuls recently. I'm still trying to get a, a perfect three out of three for a blindfold simul. My last one was one out of three. The two before that were two out of three. Plus one to blindfold Simmel against Ross the Ooh. Boss, Shwarma, and Timberwood. <laughs> Timberwood. <laughs> Might have to say that for another time. Those take a ton of energy. Yeah, e6 is a bit mysterious. Usually d6 is a move. But here I'll continue with the same kind of approach. The goal is to go for a very quick kingside attack and eventually checkmate. Yeah, all my blindfold simuls thus far have been at the end of the stream. After I'm already like kind of tired and ready to sleep. If I do a blindfold simul in the near future, maybe it would be at the beginning of a stream. 
Because that way I'll be like most energized. Okay, I'm kind of sacking a lot of things, maybe. I should not have allowed that. Can I take this? There's a funny line. I'm allowing this, which black doesn't do. That's kind of sad. There's a funny line, takes queen h6, takes king b1, and I'd be threatening some cool mating ideas. Um, now it's time to think. I might be losing a pawn. I want to play this move. Let's play this move. So targeting the square, threatening to trap the rook, threatening the pawn, which is a goner. Yeah, I've done enough Botez Gambits and Blindfold Simuls. That reminds me, I'm going to have to post, there is one blindfold slime where I sacked a queen in every game. A few intentional queen sacks, but one unintentional queen sack. Yeah, I didn't play queen takes d4 because knight bc6. Um, I mean, queen d4 looks good, but... Knight c6 would come with tempo. So I'm actually not sure if I want to take the pawn with a knight or the queen or just focus on this type of attack. I'm trying to stay flexible here. Question from E. Johnson. How does someone play blindfolded? Yeah, it's one of those things when you... At least in my case, I've been playing chess for over two decades. So when you devote so much time to playing, the board just becomes ingrained in your mind. Okay, going for some mating attack now. I could take on c4 at some point, but yeah, this is more appetizing. No mercy. Okay, now I take on c4 because I have this idea. Actually wondering, is there force mate? There's almost force mate. Like this and this are the, the candidate moves. I think I'll start with this. And then knight c7. So knight's defended through x-ray vision. The only legal move for black is to give away the queen. And now the other rook's ready to come in. This rook's ready to mate. Expecting, yeah, something like that. No mercy. King e7 is mate. Ah, where's my mate? I'll take, check. Hmm. Still have to be patient. Okay, the knight's ready to come in and help out. E5, fine move. I could take the bishop, but... I'm trying to win as quickly and efficiently as possible. So I'd rather keep my rook for potential for swinging over or just maneuver my knight and yeah, just trying to get to mate as soon as possible. Sacking the queen wouldn't really help in that regard.
Okay, so the rook's going to come this way. Running rook h7 mate. Ooh. Okay, so now the king has a square, but I'll bring the knight in. And now this, and then... Didn't need the rook there. Good game, Ross the Boss. Yeah, that was our first non-Stafford Gambit game. Uh, I think I was worse at some point. If we analyze... Yeah, I was worse at some point. Engine says... Black was better for a few moves. Yeah, after c5, I got a little bit careless. So h4 was a blunder. I should have taken and then f4, apparently. Oh, one thing I was curious about. If I were to take on d4, would Li Cha say knight c6 or knight bc6? I think it would say knight c6. Because this knight's pinned. Let's see. Yeah, knight c6. But in a case where, where both knights can move to c6, then it would say knight bc6. Yeah, the funny line I was hoping for is takes and then queen here. Takes here. And I think this is completely winning because h5 is happening. But maybe black survives somehow. Can you explain f3? Oh yeah, so f3 is a very typical move in these sort of positions. Um, I'm realizing it probably wasn't necessary here, but it's a move I just kind of played on instinct. It reinforces a pawn, um, and it sometimes can prepare g4. Also restricts a knight, which is just less powerful when the pawn is here. So, in hindsight, I didn't need to include f3, and probably shouldn't have. Should have just gone straight for the h-pawn thrust. Oh, what's included in your London course that I can't find in your YouTube videos? Yeah, the London course, it's kind of a deep dive into a bunch of different tactical ideas emerging from London opening. Um, and it's, it's directed for players who already enjoy my content and play the London and, and want just a lot more like in-depth instruction and analysis. Um, there are like eight hours of video content covering 50 different examples of like thematic tactical ideas. So it's not necessarily a repertoire course, but uh, it's a course to definitely improve your your opening repertoire or your opening like knowledge and the the feel for the opening. And tactics and strategy and so on. Oh, we played we played under a different alias. Ah. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to move on and play more chess. Hey, playing Sir Diva D. We played once before. The, the one game we played, I lost because it was in the blindfold final. Ah, now it's time for revenge. No mercy this time. Oh yeah, again, London Command will link you to the course. My link will give like the biggest discount available. Okay, are we going to see a Stafford? We're going to see a Stafford. I just had an idea. 
So in the past, I've played knight c3, which transposes to a Halloween gambit. But the other day, I discovered the goblin gambit, which is a position after c4. This is my first goblin. I wonder if Lichas would call this a goblin after pawn c4. So the point of the goblin, it's like a Halloween, but there's even more pawns. And it's even more goblin-like. The Ta asking goblin or goblin, like gobbling. <laughs> yeah, my goal is to gobble up the knights. Like a, wait, a chicken or a turkey? Gobble, gobble, turkey, right? Uh, maybe all animals can gobble if they try hard enough. Or do goblins gobble? What if gobbling was an act of being a goblin? Or maybe just an act of being a turkey? These pawns are ready to gobble. Okay, it's gobble time, or goblin time. It looks like I'm already winning a knight. Because if this knight moves away, I win this knight. If this knight stays, I guess there's queen e7, but then bishop e2. So d5, trying to bait me into taking on passant. Uh, no on passant. <laughs> I had to gobble the knight. Now we just have a, like a normal-ish position. This is a French exchange variation. Wait, what? How did we transpose into the French exchange? Wait, but I'm missing a knight. No, this isn't French exchange. It's French exchange, but we're missing our, our knights. <laughs> well, some weird like opening transpositions. I'm also realizing there's no increment, so time is kind of relevant. You should do a guided meditation. You have a very calming voice. Oh. Love your content. Smile. Can we do a guided meditation right now? Just find a, a cozy spot. Slowly close your eyes, take a deep breath, say goodbye to Black's Bishop. And just focus on the breath. Deep breath in. And then exhale. And don't blunder your queen. Develop your bishops. And even if you're feeling stressed or there's a lot of stresses in life, you just have to be grateful for what you have. Keep taking free pawns. Always got to look for the, the forking opportunities. Remember to eat your food with a fork. Deep breath in. And then exhale. Oh, opponent has no time. Ooh, free move. Okay. Goodbye, Black Bishop. Goodbye, Black Bishop. Goodbye, Black Bishop. Oh, Goodbye, no. Black Bishop. My guided Goodbye, meditation. Black Bishop. <laughs> Goodbye, Black Bishop. 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 Okay, that was a weird series of events. So it was a king's pawn opening turned into a Petrov, turned into a Stafford Gambit, turned into the Goblin. 
So Le Leechas knows this is a goblin. I wasn't even making up things. Turned into gobbling Black's knights. Turned into goodbye Black's bishop. Turned into guided meditation. Okay. Hello to future YouTube people. Also goodbye. Meditation bitties. Oh, thanks for the meditation bitties. Okay, one more game. Playing big wick chess. Never played before. Has never played a rated game on Lee Chess. Yo, it's Irene. What's up, Irene? <laughs> you, I don't know if you just joined, but you just missed a guided meditation. Are we going to have another goblin? So if I want a goblin from this position, I can play c4. And then if knight of 6, then we have the goblin. If bishop c5, there's a center fork trick, which I might as well play. <laughs> So this was an attempted goblin. Wait a minute, I'm not winning a piece. Oh no. I just assumed I'd be winning a piece, but the fact that I played c4, it's not good for me, because after bishop b4, I don't have c3, because pawns can't move backwards. The opponent misses this. OK. I think we're fine again. If the knight moves, I win the pawn. So let's try and get the knight to move. Oh, I should have played this move. Queen c3. And queen f2 is a solid-ish move. Mm. Okay, so it's equal material. A very simple plan for white to develop, castle, control d5. It's a drawback of the structure for black is a, the d5 square and also the d6 pawn. Yeah, I do want to play h3 at some point. The reason I don't play h3 here is knight takes pawn and hits my awesome queen. Content. I've gotten a lot better since the last time we played. Hey, good to hear. Zany and Thra. Appreciate the resub. Okay, I still want to play h3, but it looks a little bit weird because there's takes, takes, knight, f6. So I'm just going to get my king off the e-file. I'm trying to be patient. b5, wow. Yeah, I'm also trying to do some guess at elo here. Because my opponent, like, they're playing some really interesting provocative moves. Um, but there was a, the missed opportunity earlier. I would guess, like, 18, maybe 17 or 1800. B5 is, like, a higher level move. I play h3. I think h3 is actually fine. Because there's a line takes, 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 where the knight's hanging and my bishop's hanging, but I have bishop d5 in the end, and then everything's hanging for black. Yeah, I could have taken on, on b5. I guess there was some c4. It was probably fine for me. If I took with knight, there's this pawn hanging.
Oh, my opponent's in the chat. They say I'm 700 on chess.com. Ha <laughs> ha. 700 on chess.com is probably like 1300 on Lee Chess. Also, I don't mind, like, for future reference, I don't mind if players play me and listen into the stream. Um, especially if it's casual. If it's rated, usually better to, to mute the stream, but casual, completely fine to listen in. Yeah, I know it depends. Uh, or there, there is some kind of rating gap between chess.com and Lee Chess ratings. It might vary from player to player as well. Thank you to Jan Pool. What to do here? E5. Okay, so I won a piece, so life is good now. I think I'll play this move. Ah, I blundered a pawn. Ah, Shawarma says, I feel like you should purposely try and trick people who listen into the stream. Yeah, or I can trick them when I actually blunder. Oh, they've, they're not too scared to take it. <laughs> yeah, opponent got tricked. It was a poison pawn. <laughs> Good timing with the, the bits from Sharma. On the same page here. Yeah, I got the wooden shield. Okay, no mercy now. I'm up a bishop and a rook. Uh, the goal is to get the job done as cleanly as possible. I think I'll start with f5. So f5 obstructs the bishop from defending the pawn. The goal is to take, play f6. Oh, but maybe not play f6. <laughs> the goal is to take, not plunder a queen, and then somehow checkmate. Maybe my rook can get involved. Oh, my bishop. Why didn't I not acknowledge that? Oh, I saw my rook attacked. Ah, black came up with a good move there. The nice thing is g7 is hard to defend, though. Ooh. Shawarma wants a drinking game. Yeah, and then the, the beverage would be tea. I was thinking about making like a bingo card. Like with a bunch of different things like Oh No My and Da and No Mercy and Stafford Gambit. Be cool to do some bingo action. And Funny Line. Okay, thank you, Big Wick Chess. Yeah, Black's dream was to checkmate on G2, but not quite a reality. Yeah, the, the tea, I forget the exact brand. It's some like Indian tea that uh, someone sent me. Hey, it's account live. 
Shout out to the Count, Grandmaster, Christian Carilla. Appreciate the raid. If you're just joining, I just played a game. Um, I imagine that Count Live viewers may not know this opening. Oh, this is called the Dresden opening. The point of playing this opening is after Knight of Six is to take on E5, and it's called the Goblin. But that's not what happened in this game. Opponent played Bishop C5. I wanted to still play some Goblin-like opening. And uh, yeah, I could have been clearly worse after this move. Yeah, thanks again, Christian. How would you respond if opponent had played b4 after b5? Wait. Well, opponent played b5 here. I'm not sure if I understand the question. If opponent had played b4 after... Do you mean here? If b4 here, that's interesting. Yeah, because if I move the knight, uh, maybe I play knight d5. I could also take. I think knight d5 is a safer move. And black doesn't have time to win the pawn because I take and the knight's hanging. And if takes, I take this way and yeah, I have a nice pawn center. Oh, Count Live is still a mod, yeah. Count Live and I go way back. I think you were probably one of the first mods of the channel. Don't mess with the Count. Wait, your channel's still live, oh no. I used to make that mistake a lot, where I would raid someone and then forget to end the stream. And sometimes happen. How does one become a mod? Uh, you have to earn my trust. Yeah, I don't really have a formal process of choosing mods. Handful of mods I, I know in real life. Anyway, um, what was I going to do? Rasa Boss is a mod for one of my mods. Oh. I mean, that's why you're a boss, I guess. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to show the tea. So this is the tea I'm drinking. Also, this is my new teapot. Shout out to Ikea. Bought this thing for 20 bucks. Holds a lot of tea. Wow. Um, and I don't know who sent me the tea. I'll be right back. So I received this tea a few weeks ago. It's, uh, I don't know if it'll focus. I have a full video? I do. Wow. It's masala spiced, no, vanilla spiced masala chai tea. It was part of like a Hanukkah tea set. Um, and the teas have been really good. I received like this tea and uh, around the same time I, I received a Christmas tea set too. It was really nice. Yeah, the, the tin is uh, uh, a hexagon. Good job to the observant people. Oh, which one was better? 
the Christmas one, it was like 24 different types of tea. Um, and they were all, it was all tea bags. This one is loose leaf tea. So I make it in this thing where the tea brews in the center and I just fill it with water. Does this, oh wait. Oh, I am drinking tea. I think it has a little bit of caffeine. It's just maybe not the best thing to drink after midnight. Anyway, it keeps me slightly alive and hydrated. Okay, I was given a challenge to play Jimberwood. Wood. I don't know if Jimberwood is still here though. Yeah, I'm not seeing the challenge. Okay. Uh, in this case, I think I'll play another random opponent. Okay. Playing an Indian chess player, rated 2208. No goblin this game. <laughs> Let's have a serious game. So this is casual rapid. Opponents playing a London. I'll play what I usually play against London. Yeah, so this is a, the general setup I recommend. Um, resembles a reverse Queen's Gambit. N never scared of taking, always have e6 and recapture. And the point is usually to play Queen b6, unless white does this, and then I have to be careful. Because e6 loses to knight b5. Um, what's the move here? I think it's takes. Takes, but then still knight b5. Queen a5. I'm trying to remember this line. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to take. White usually takes back and then a6. Yeah, but knight b5 is a major idea for white. Yeah, so a6. Wait, DeCude says, wow, I just got deja vu. Watched another Eric video where he said and showed the same exact thing with the same words, really? I know I've had this position before. I just, I guess it hasn't stuck in memory yet. Play bishop f5 looks normal. I know there's ways for white to be like really sneaky. The like Garonian has played similar types of positions before. But usually the ways to be sneaky involve like early knight e5, g4, h4 to target the bishop. When white castles and I can be comfort or comfortable and cozy. Yeah, we'll go for some solid play. Question if queen a5 solves a problem. That's what I was actually calculating before. Was this queen a5 line? Um, maybe I wasn't so clear on it. Because if, if here, here, c3, the, the knight's defended. But there is a line takes here, here, takes, and then I take on b2 in the end. I can try and share that after this game. Uh, knight, wow, knight b1. So going for knight d2. But undeveloping. I can't take on d4 because takes and I lose a piece.
And this queen c7. C3 is probably coming. Choices, choices. So I'm uh, I'm actually calculating a somewhat deeper line. Idea to take. And if pawn takes knight d7, imagine knight d2. Now there's a potential that there's some bishop trade at some point. Um, so there's actually a lot of branches, but let's say it takes takes knight d7, knight d2. And we get this kind of French structure. Like queen b6 hitting the pawn. It looks nice and positional. I'll have a long-term target. I'm probably not winning the pawn on e5, but... It seems like there's some nice play for black. Okay, so bishop takes e5 also playable. I think here we will reach something similar, or there's rook takes e5. And then, yeah, then the structure remains the same. Wait, what? Diamond Cutter says, Ross is my mod, and I'm your mod. So Ross is your grandchild. I'm not sure if that's how family heritage works. <laughs> we might have to do a DNA test. Anyway, okay, feeling decent. Opponents taking their time. There is a decision to make. Okay, we're getting a more French-like structure, but it's a good French because my bishop is not miserable. And I'll play knight e7. So white probably wants to play f4 at some point, but it allows queen b6 with some double attack. And this is probably going to happen also at some point. But I like the position, like very, very stable. I could go for queen b6 immediately. There's knight c5. There's queen c7. There's queen b6, man. I'll play queen c7. Let's see how white defends upon. Yeah, bishop g6 and queen e2 I think was necessary. The pawn survives. I'm thinking queen b6 here. The idea is to tie down the queen to defending b2. If knight d2, I take it. Then c3 is weak. If not knight d2, then the knight's a bit stuck. If b3, I can play rook c8. Tying down the knight to defending c3. Yeah, it seems a little bit annoying for white to resolve the pressure. The time for me right now is 12.28 a.m. Monday, January 17th, 2022. I'm new here, what is the quack thing also talks <laughs> on the buffets line? Wait, 
what's the buffet's line? If you tell me what the buffet's line is, I'll tell you what the quack thing is all about. Or maybe Chat can tell you what the quack thing is about. I'm calculating takes, takes, and d4, because of takes, it's mating. Takes, takes, d4, there's rook d3. And there's a funny line I take. Wait, takes, takes, d4, rook d3, takes, takes, d3. Looks good. This is knight c3. Knight c3 takes rook c1. Wow. Wait, d, okay. So takes, takes d4. Takes, takes d4, rook d3. Takes, takes. I have to play c2. And then knight c3. I don't know if I'm better there. Feels like I should be. Because I win the pawn. Force rook c1. Yeah, opponent wants a draw. Opponent maybe sees my arrows or senses my arrows. And now I sense fear. Okay, let's go for this line. It's a funny line. I mean, I could just milk my way and more slow play rook c7, maneuver the knight. But d4 seems a bit more forcing. Also, welcome to Lancori. Thanks for the bits. Yeah, the quack thing, I don't know where it originally... Originally originated. To explain the quack thing, you must answer this duck riddle to be inducted into the rows and circle. Inducted. What happens uh. when a duck flies upside down? It quacks up. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and stay focused here. Uh, yeah, I want to take. Oh no, my knight. It's impressive answering your own riddle. Okay, so we're we're getting exactly the line I was looking at. Opponent has to play this. And I take. And then this is only move. So I'm up a pawn here, but it's not super crystal clear. Because this pawn's a little bit weak. I don't think I have to defend it yet. I'll start with this move. The idea is if takes, I play this and I win. I mean, I made the assumption that one extra pawn is enough to win, especially the C2 pawn. But I think this, this position probably takes a lot of work. The king's going to come in, and that's not so simple. F4. If I play B5. And B5 is a move. Might as well. I think the goal is to play something like a5, a4. Hey, it's Thirsty Monster. Shout out to Thirsty Monster. If you're just joining, I have a somewhat serious game on my hands. I'm trying to convert an endgame up a pawn 
But this pawn is blockaded and it's kind of weak. Yeah, it's a 10 plus 2. No rating on the line, but there is pride and glory. Oh, thank you, Ezra Zayev. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I forget that Ezra Zayev is very good at shouting people out. Oh, CL Smith just saw some of my merch in New Orleans. Ah, it was Josh. Oh, that's so awesome. I will say I haven't encountered anyone in the wild who's worn my merch. Like that's that's one of my life goals is to to just run into someone in public wearing an oh no my queen shirt. Yeah, I know there's like a, a big Scrabble tournament happening in New Orleans that I wanted to go to but didn't quite work out with my schedule. Oh dear. A duck, skunk, and deer went out to eat at a restaurant. Ah dear. When it was time to pay, the skunk didn't have a cent and the deer didn't even have a buck. So the <laughs> duck had the waiter put it on his bill. Ah. Uh, oh, that's a pretty good one, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm up on time. Enjoying the, the flavor of this position. I might be losing a pawn, but... Yeah, the original plan was this, but white's just in time. So I think what I'll do here is play rook d3, provoking king e2. White doesn't have time to take, because I, I would win with rook d1. After king e2, I play rook... Rook d4, I think. Oh, it's really not so clear. And there's a cool line, takes b4, g3, and then rook c3, going for complete paralysis, where this setup is super, super solid. But then the question still remains, how does black make progress? Maybe rook d, d3, give some checks, go for the flag. Okay, up, up over a minute. Yeah, so white takes the pawn. If I take here, there's rook takes pawn, and probably not better. The pet store and says, "How much for the duck?" The pet store clerk says, thirty dollars." The man says, "Okay, just send me the bill." The pet store clerk replies, "Sorry, but you have to take the whole bird." Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh. I'm trying to save Vogus here. It's not easy though. I'll play Rook C3. Yeah, we're trying to grind down a Rook ending while 
consuming duck jokes. A3, wow. I guess A3 is playable. Uh, I'm playing, yeah, I, I have been playing the subs most of the stream, but uh, currently I can only play one game at a time. I'm trying to calculate. I think I just take, I want to play G5 at some point. There's also rook e4, king here. Some rook e3 takes here, 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 here. Oh, it seems really close to working, but not quite. I mean, I want to make g4 work too. Uh, g5, g5 takes. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to check first. When in doubt, repeat. Oh, wait, I can take check. Check there. Okay, let's go for this. And G, maybe not G5 first. But maybe G5. Okay, I'm really playing for a win. I might be over pushing, but it's interesting. So the plan is after takes, I play this, this, this. Give away this pawn and then try and win stuff. Because there's a pin. I mean, there's check here, b4 in the end. Then I take. Okay, that move I didn't see. I might as well play this. There's a game, uh, Carlson Ponomaryov. Which the structure kind of reminds me of. Carlson won rook and four versus rook and four. That's very similar to this. Uh, yeah, I have to take. So we're going into two rooks and four versus two rooks and four. Those pawns are gone here. I think there's still some chances for uh for a win. Not easy, but we'll see. Especially given the time situation. Okay, so here I can take and play rook d4. So winning a pawn. Hey, it's John, gifting to Golden Bomb A. Thanks, John. Oh, it's close to mate. But where's the mate? Maybe it's not close to mate. I'm still looking for mate. <laughs> Let's not flag, though. Okay, the plan is this and then mate. I have to take and play this move. Okay, winning another pawn. Almost winning on time. Yeah, now it's a matter of endgame technique. Okay, 
No mercy. Yeah, I'm going to get a diamond with my, my rook and pawns. <laughs> King is extra safe. Okay, spelling the word T. It spells, or the letter T, but stands for the word T. I got to advance my T. Oh. Okay, good game. That took a lot of work. Opponent really resisted, but eventually made progress in that game. Uh, where was the mistake? Probably allowing this move. White should have kept offering the trade of rooks. But well played to my opponent. We can see, yeah, it was close to equal here. Maybe black is slightly better. I do want to show the, the rook ending between Carlson and Ponomaria. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. So this is like a, it's a pretty well-known game. If you ask like most strong masters. Good morning from Belfast Smiles. Oh, good morning. Good morning from St. Louis. Yeah, it's uh, 12.46 in the morning here. So, yeah, I was going to say that uh, if we just compare the position, I did have double G-pawns, but in the structure where white, even though white has connect four, when there's an overextended E-pawn like this, it gives black winning chances. And, okay, maybe I can... I can quickly import this into a study. Whoa, it's John gifting a hundred subs. Thanks, John. Oh, that's so kind. If you were just gifted a sub by John, say thank you. Also, shout out to John. Hope you're doing well. A 95 Horatio. That's really, really kind. Okay, I just made this into a study. So hopefully we can we can deliver some educational content as uh, these these sub alerts chime off. Yeah, thanks so much. Really appreciate the especially the energy boost <laughs> at such a late time. <laughs> um, yeah, so this position between two super grand masters should be a draw like 99% of the time. But when Carlson is playing, especially playing black here and has like some small imbalance, then uh, and we're going to see how he actually manages to beat Ponomaryov, who's like a former world champion, 
at least it was one of those years where like he won maybe the disputed world championship. Oh, thanks, John. Yeah, I see your comment. Oh, thank you, Lon Curry. Okay, so let's look from Black's perspective. The way Magnus wins this is by playing g5, weakening the defense of the epon, and then bringing the king in. And somehow it worked out. Yeah, he got this position where all he needs to do is win the epon. It was still probably a draw somehow, but he just kept grinding, grinding. Eventually won the H pawn. And then, yeah, then walked all the way back around and then won the E pawn. So this is like Magnus Carlsen, like vintage endgame play. Um, so even though, like, I, I don't review this game so often. Like last time I probably re reviewed this game was years ago. It's still like whenever I reach a position like the one I just had, it gives me inspiration to play for a win in like seemingly equal looking positions. What does table base say? Yeah, so table base will solve the position where is it? It will solve the position here. So it still says this is a draw, but uh, we can't fully trust just uh, the objective evaluation because practically it's still very difficult. And yeah, king f4 was the only way to draw because yeah, the king got cut off, the rook came here, and then the king was able to walk around. Okay, let me try and catch up. Oh, thanks for being here, Chelsea. Have a good night, or good day. Probably a good day. Thank you, Tiny Dinky Daffy. Dixie Dodger asking, what was your favorite game from Tata Steel Day 2? Uh, Mama Diarov. Mama Diarov played like some crazy... His game today was E6, G4 against Esapanko. I think they eventually drew, but he played the Devon Gambit. <laughs> Also, Magnus, didn't Magnus be in the niche? Yeah, Magnus uh, seemed to be in good form. Okay, shall we move on? Still getting a lot of challenges. I think I'll play a, an overall random player for all the people, even non-subs, or the people who haven't yet connected their username. Um, I have 42, now 43 pending challenges. So this might be the final game, but we'll see. Playing Udit Maheshwari. We'll see if my opponent is here. This is rated blitz. If I lose this game, I'd probably lose a lot of rating. Oh, opponent wants to checkmate me, probably. <sighs> yeah. My very first rated tournament, I was eight years old. I got mated like this. It was tragic. But then I learned my lesson. Okay. Yeah, the drawback with bringing the queen here is as long as black defends, it, uh, it runs into trouble for white.
Okay, my goal is to punish away to the maximum. A C3 is a high-level high move, actually. <laughs> C3 with a counterattack. Okay, I'll take and then take here. So hitting the rook. No mercy. Opponent wants to take back. Okay, I'll give some mercy. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah. Wow, castling. I forgot castling was legal. Yeah, usually when I say no mercy, I don't give any mercy, but the take back request was so innocent. Okay, so my queen still defends the pawn from a distance. Pawns are still staring at each other. Thank you, Azza. Do oh, my knight! Ah, checkmate. Okay, no mercy. <laughs> yeah, you can't give tape backs after checkmate has been delivered. A lot of double pawns. Three sets of double pawns. Do I move on? I kind of need to take a small break. Okay, I'll play one more game, but it's time for a break. Also, I think I missed a redeem ad from earlier. So we'll do a small ad break. Uh, if I can figure out how. Oh, it's still it's still chugging away. Oh, I have so many buns though. What if I add this? Okay, no ad break. <laughs> uh, let's watch a game. Or multiple games. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay. <laughs> the sub alerts keep coming in. Thank you, Lely Brook. Okay, uno mas. We'll go back to random sub. Okay. Never played this opponent before. This is casual rapid. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll see if my opponent is here. It says they're online, kind of. But they're not present at this game. If you're watching the stream and your name ends with bait, is your, your move. <sighs> well, we'll give it 10 seconds. Oh, thank you, Kavita. That's about 10 seconds, right? No mercy. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Hey, playing Jimster. We've never played before. Good luck to Jimster. This is 5 0 casual. Is Jimster here now? I feel like we're reaching the point where like half the people challenging me have probably slowly drifted off to sleep. Okay, I'm, uh, I was offering a Stafford, but we're going into some more Italian symmetrical opening. H3 is acceptable. If d3, I'll play h6. Casting, I also play h6. And now g5. So this is a way to play aggressively from a very symmetrical position as black. I don't castle, but rather I go for the very quick g4. And I think I was studying this, studying this at some point earlier, like a week or two ago. I was showing this line. Italian is a London shifted over a square. <laughs> yeah, this has London vibes. If we just like invert the color of the pieces. Already. Already. Oh, tiny, tiny dinky Daffy. That's from a while ago. Yeah, so here I'll take with the bishop. Been chilling here for five months. Ooh. Huzzah. A lovely brook. So I'm accepting double pawns, mainly the C pawns. Great stream, as always. Thanks again, Kavita. Hey, I think we're finally caught up. Nice. Yeah, so even though my king's still in the center, I have double pawns, G files half open, a lot of these kind of factors play into my benefit uh, because, yeah, because <laughs> knight lands on d4. I think white played this move to have bishop e2. It wasn't easy to deal with the pin. Yeah, I think I'll start with rook g1, just supporting the bishop. In the event of takes, I'll take back with pawn. And we might trade on g4, etc. Oh my gosh. John gifting another 100 subs. Thanks so much, John. <laughs> Yet again. Oh my gosh. Again, if you were gifted a sub, say thank you. Oh, that's too kind. 
Really too kind. Thanks so much. I think we are approaching like an all time sub count. Also, yeah, all the subs have the GM John Davis emote. <laughs> One of the OG emotes. That's yeah, so much hype. This position is also hype. Got the G file, got the pawns happy. C pawns are undoubled. If I take here, there's takes, but then knight f4. I also have bishop h3. Too many options to choose from. Oh, now we have a wow chant. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, Ch Chad is way more hype than this position. Okay, I think I'll take, and then take, and then take again. Opponent thinking here, but... Uh... Oh, maybe my opponent was uh, <laughs> contributing to the wows. Okay, so I'm hitting a uh, threatening maiden one, going for casting queenside, assuming white defends. So there's two different ways for white to defend. Good castle. Always play F6. <laughs> yeah, White's, uh, White survived the initial checkmating attack. So I have to be a bit more patient here. Uh, D3 is probably the, the main threat. Another idea to double up. A lot of people saying, wow, yeah. <laughs> okay, I might be losing this pawn, and then maybe this pawn. But as long as I can win this and this, I'll be happy. Oh, okay. Or I'll play d3, hitting the king, but also threatening the, the pawn fork. Okay, good game, Jimster. Yeah, I think this is some sort of theory, actually, right? Okay, this position is hasn't been reached too often. But uh, yeah, after d3, there's a handful of games that feature g5. And it turns out bishop e3 is already like a, an, an accuracy because of g4. After takes takes, it's it's difficult for white. Um, I can recommend delaying castling. Probably the best approach for white is to play d3 first. And if I play h6, uh, go for knight a4. More positional approach. Oh, greetings to cute platypus from Poland. Yeah, I'm streaming so late into the night, it's uh, people are waking up in Europe. Man. Thank you, Absolute Blake. Okay, I'll do I'll do a few more, because why not? 
<laughs> Still a lot of pending challenges. Is there a sub I've never played before? I've played Will the Thrill, Nuclear Raven. Never played Jason E. Or Jason Y. Jason was the longest waiting sub I've never played before. Seven plus two, rapid chess. We have Vienna. Ooh, we have Vienna Gambit. Okay, I'll play my main stuff. Knight takes e4, and now f5. Wait a minute. I see the prediction. I don't know if I'm playing three more games, though. <laughs> we should do a prediction if whether I'll play three more games. I guess if I don't play three more games, then I won't win three out of three. Yeah, because this, this game could take at least like 15 minutes to complete. But I'm staying, staying awake. I'll try and deliver. I guess if I don't play three more games, we can cancel the prediction. Oh, they're on Passant. Yeah, they're, on Passant is legal after F5. However, if Pawn takes F6, I take with Knight. And it's actually a good transformation for Black. Um, because I would have the open F and E file, castle quickly, and the Queen and King would be targets. So this is the main line, like d3 takes, takes d4. I play d4 to prevent white from playing d4. If white gets in d4, then it's really pleasant for white. But uh, yeah, this is a preventive move. And there's still theory here. I've shown, I've shown in multiple streams my deep prep for Levy. Uh, Bishop e2 is not a move I've ever seen before. And there's some logic to it, defends the pawn. I'll play this, reinforce the pawn in d4. Yeah, generally the bishop develops to the square. Because e5 might be vulnerable. And if we trade... Okay, pawn takes pawn, knight takes, bishop takes, takes. I hit the rook and the pawn in the end. So trying to show no mercy. The first several moves of this game were prep. Now I'm kind of on my own. Queen g3 is very typical, allows for knight f3. It's very tempting to play this to prepare this, but then g7 hangs. But maybe I can take, take, and bishop here. The g7 still hangs there. There's a really cool line I'm looking at. So takes, takes, and knight d4, bishop d4, and then bishop b4, c3, queen digs d4. I kind of want to do it. Let's do it. Because c2 is surprisingly a, a very exploitable target.
Like it's very weak. Um, although, okay, now we're now things transform. <laughs> I was about to automatically recapture, but the funny line is Bishop B4 check first, C3, and then I take. And I think that's preferable. The main goal is to take away Weiss casting rights. So C3 I take, and there's a double pin against a pawn. Pawn is pinned like this, but also like this. And in the cases where white takes on g7, I play rook f8, and I think everything is covered on the king side. So king e2. Yeah, I'll still take. <clears throat> take on d4, hitting the rook. Uh, things might be getting spicy here, actually. The queen g7 was playable, I think. Okay, now I can play this move. Threatening the queen and threatening the pawn. And unleashing the bishop. And if queen g7 is mate. How do you put green lines? Uh, right click and drag. Yeah. And clutter the board with greenness. Very eco friendly. You can do this on mobile though. So when you're on desktop, you have to be grateful that you can do it. Uh. Yeah, out of all these arrows, one of them is checkmate in one. One of them's a free queen, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the game, Jason Y. Actually, the queen wouldn't be free because it would be a queen trade, but yeah, when in doubt, checkmate. So the, yeah, I think the proper line is queen g3 immediately. Right, queen g3, or bishop e2. Queen g3 is most played in master's database. Hey, it's a YouTube frog. One and only Vic. Welcome. Yeah, a lot of YouTube frogs gradually transform into Twitch frogs. Okay, let's play the highest rated opponent, who I think is this person. The only title player challenging me. Chess Kid Triple One. We're playing Casual Blitz 3 0. Good luck to my opponent. Playing, uh. I'll probably end up playing a reverse Grand Prix attack. Unless knight f3, then I'll, I'll do something else. Yeah, with knight f3, I'm going to go for... Uh, actually, it depends what uh, white plays. e3. I want to go for some weird like gambit thing. But I don't think this is playable. Okay, I'll play... Oh, Reverse Sicilian is probably not playable either. Wait, what's the line here? I think it's Bishop Bishop B4. We have some Reverse Rosalimo. Castling. I'll admit, I don't know so much theory here. But I think this is a line. A E4... Oh, thank you, Jimster. That was from earlier. Okay, let me play this move. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to not get a worse position and not get too low on time. Yep, 
Yeah, I have to be careful. This move. Okay, white well, got the bishop hair. White well, has a good position, actually. But at least I'm alive. Uh, bishop d3. Okay. I'm curious which way the king will go. I mean, we might see h4, h5, yeah. I mean, that's probably what I would do. Play h5 myself. So I'm not scared of the sack because I have queen g7 in the end. I might end up playing some like f5 move. f5, e4, knight e5. This bishop scares me though. I play a4, there's b4. Play this. The idea is to make room for the queen and then for the knight and then for the pawn. I'm trying to rearrange my furniture. I'm doing some interior design. And the hope is to eventually do exterior design. A4. And this is a, kind of a big threat. Wow. How scared am I? Kind of scared here. I'm pre-moving hg4. I see it coming. I can't stop it, though. The idea is to, after it takes, play e4, and then hope for the best. It's so terrifying, though. Don't hurt me. I'm also just trying to play quickly. Time is very relevant here. Yeah, that's a great move. I think I can take. I'm allowing this, but then I have this. I, I dream of someday having a nice night and not getting mated. I'm still terrified, though. D4 is coming. What to do? D4, knight G6. There's a funny line, bishop G6. Takes, takes. And maybe I go for it. It's not good, but uh, maybe it will keep me alive. I'm struggling a little bit here. Good move. What do I do here? Oh, I got mated in one. <laughs> I took a lot of time there, too. <laughs> wow, we're going to try with mate. Well, that satisfies a prediction, at least. Good game. Chess kid. Put the hammer down. Yeah, d4 is a good move. Only move queen g6. What? Takes and then bishop b1. Ah! If only I had more time. I probably still wouldn't have found this. Bishop b1, hitting the queen, threatening mate. 
But white can defend with bishop d3 counterattacking the queen. And then I'm down a piece, but I win back the piece. And then white saves the queen, and then it's a draw. After bishop e1 back, rook h2 only move. What is this line? Rook a8 only move. e takes d6. C takes d6, allowing queen h8, king f7. Queen h5, and black is slightly, slightly better in the endgame. After bishop e4. Wow. Crazy stockfish line. Well, there, there goes some people's channel points. <laughs> All the doubters were, I guess, correct. Anyway, I think I'll wrap it up. I'm tired. Thanks again to John for gifting not 100 subs, but 200 subs. Actually, maybe 201 subs. Um, and thanks everyone else for being here. It was a fun stream. Thanks to my last opponent for... Uh, for helping me prepare for strong competition. I have a strong tournament coming up. I need to play more uh, more serious games. But yeah, I'm going to wrap things up. It's been a long one. I should stretch more. Ah. Wait, is there another prediction running? No. No, the prediction was being rewarded. Yeah, we, we are like at a very high number of subs. So thanks everyone for being a subscriber. If you were gifted a sub, say thank you to whoever gifted you. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in the near future. I'll send, oh, let's send the raid to the other person who has my name, another Eric. Also known as Chesbra. Okay, sending the raid over, send some good vibes, high energy. I don't think Eric's been live in a, a while. Okay, um, I think there's a good chance I'll be back tomorrow for another stream. Maybe not this late, but uh, hopefully it's some reasonable time. Uh, very likely I'll be posting my Dubai recap number eight tomorrow, round eight, which did feature a staffer gambit. Stay tuned for that. Uh, we do have a new vid command too. Oh, new vid command needs to be updated. I have an even newer video uh, featuring a fun game I had the other day. This one. Your worst nightmare. We had quadruple egg. Had some fun things recently. So again, thanks everyone. Have a good night or good day, and I'll be back in the future. Adios.